RC Tech Pro Flying here with a new information and an upgrade for your Mobila 8, the Happy Model Mobila 8. This is a really fun uh, drone to fly. And uh, what I've discovered after crashing a couple of times in the grass and some of the uh, trees and some of the branches um, hit the receiver. So I'm going to show you what I did in um, correcting that problem. So where the problem occurs is when you're flying in this and you notice your link quality uh, has been degraded and you get fail safe and it just kind of falls out of the sky when you're flying it for a short distance. Um, most of the problems, if you've got the, um, the Express LRS with the ceramic antenna, so I'm going to kind of point out where it's at. Let me kind of use this here. All right, so right around, and I just lost a tip here. I'll use this one again. All right, so let's find it. Okay, so it's right here. All right, so there is a, and I'm gonna show you another uh, piece of video that I'll, I'll kind of show you where I have a close shot of it, but it's the ceramic antenna. It has a trace around it. Um, which the, what happens is when this thing hits branches and trees and it crashes, the traces that are on the ceramic antenna for the Express LRS get scarred or cut. And that obviously affects the antenna and that definitely lowers your range. So uh, instead of messing around with trying to replace that little ceramic because you might damage the board, you can put an external um receiver on it and you'll see that's what I've done here and I'll show you um, how I did that with the wiring and stuff it's pretty simple and the same process that you do when you binded this uh, um, this <clears throat> uh, quad so I'm just going to cut it because I used a tie strap to keep it in place so and this way it keeps it in place so this is where I put it over here let's go ahead and we'll pull it out and tie it once I get it out here. All right, see what I did was uh, I got myself an Express LRS, really small receiver, and I wired it into um, the UART1. It's UART1 on here because there is an open UART1 in there, and I believe UART2 is used for the uh, video transmitter, so you can't use that one. So I'm going to show you <clears throat> on here what I did. And this one, this Express LRS receiver does have the ceramic antenna. And I definitely would advise you to use uh, heat sink, uh, heat shrink on here to protect it. Now, if you've already newly bought one of these and you haven't had the problem with the receiver, um, what my suggestion would be is to probably get a small piece of uh, heat shrink and maybe put it over the Express LRS ceramic antenna uh, to protect it from the branches scratching it and damaging the trace. Or maybe you can use some type of paint that uh, you can put over it, like a, a clear coat, you know, clear coat of paint or something like that, and kind of brush it on it to protect it so that this way it doesn't uh, break the traces off the antenna. So let me go ahead and I'll show you on the schematic and I'll have a blown up picture of this and just show you. So on the board, this is an X12 Express LRS version two board that's on um, this particular uh, drone here. So, or quad. <clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna show you here. So on here we have, um, you're gonna notice on the board you're gonna have uh, you're going to have your ground, you're going to have um, RX1, you're receiving, um, TX1, that's your transmitting, and uh, you got your 5 volt power as well. And what you're going to do is, what I did was I got small wires like this. Um, this came off my BiFly uh, beeper, um, but if you've got some small wires that you can use, a really small gauge because you don't want to have anything thick. But I use this. Um, I, this is only a three conductor, but you need four conductors um, to make this process work. On the board, one inch, when you lift up the board out of here, it's very simple because the holes 
are actually open so you can solder them. You can kind of twist the ends and then poke the hole, poke the wire um, conductor through the hole and then solder it um, to the connectors. So let's uh, make an example. So we have our Express LRS receiver, right? This is our ELS, okay? Uh, that's gonna be a receiver. So you're gonna have your, you're gonna have your ground, you're gonna have your power. So that'll be your positive, let's say your negative. And then you're gonna have your receive and then you're gonna have your transmit. So your TX and then you have your RX. So what you're gonna do, okay? You're gonna take your TX and you're gonna connect it to your RX. You're gonna take your RX and connect it to your TX. So it's the opposite. So it's feeding information back and forth. And then you're gonna take your positive to your five volts and put it to your five volts and then take your ground and then put it to your ground, okay? And once you do that, then you go into the binding process, but I'll have to show you a different screen for that and I'll switch over once uh, um, I get to this point here where we need to show you what you need to do after you set this up. You need to go to uh, Betaflight Okay, once we're connected um, to Betaflight, we've got the, uh, the quad hooked up to set up the external Express LRS or receiver TBX Crossfire um, to the Mobla 8. So we need to go to uh, ports and we need to go change UART1. We need to change that and add uh, the receiver. So basically you would hit um, this on UART1 because that's where we have our receiver hooked up to on the board and then we need to go to the receiver tab and we need to change the this is where it's going to come in originally um, it's going to be on uh, SPI and that's going to say Express LRS or it might be Crossfire so we need to change this to Serial UART via UART and then we need to change this to crossfire. It might already pop up, but we need to put it to crossfire um, in order for, and unless you have a different type of receiver. So whatever the receiver is, that's what you change it to. So that's pretty much all you do besides save and reboot. And to complete the process, um, this will save everything. And then you go to the binding process. So that goes to here um, to the COI. And then you're going to type in. Uh, bind underscore and then RX and hit enter and what happens is it will it may give you an error but it will bind it with the radio on you have to have the radio on and have the menu for the Express LRS uh, in that this way it's preparing for it to bind and correct its uh, connection so anyways that's pretty much it on how to do that if you have any questions uh, feel free to comment and ask me any questions concerning if you're having some challenges and I can probably help you through that